More and more companies are using instant messaging, or IM for short. It's a convenient tool for one-on-one -on -one conversations and group discussions. Whether your company uses Slack, Google Hangouts, HipChat, or some other IM app, they'll probably have certain expectations for how instant messaging should be used in the office. Some are more relaxed, using it to share jokes or funny pictures alongside work-related projects. However, some workplaces expect instant messaging to be strictly professional, used only for official business. Until you know what's acceptable, keep all messages business-friendly, just to be safe. For instance, if you're asking for something out of the blue, it's polite to greet the person you're messaging and ask if they're free before making your request. If they're busy, ask when a good time would be to catch up. Before you send a message, though, it's a good idea to check the recipient's availability status first. If someone has set their status to do not disturb, for example, respect the status and don't send them a message unless it's urgent. When sending a message to someone who's available, though, remember that instant messages are best used for quick communication. Keep your messages brief and specific. If a conversation begins to ramble on, suggest meeting in person to maintain an efficient work environment. Now, unlike emails or phone conversations, instant messaging does have one quirk when it comes to ending a conversation. If everything in the discussion has been resolved, there's usually no need to post a farewell message, such as, nice to talk to you, goodbye. Often, a brief thanks is more than enough. Once you get the feel of instant messaging, it can be a unique and versatile tool, whether you're asking for updates on a project or wishing your coworkers a happy weekend.